<laughs> What's up guys? Is there anything worse than illegal immigration? Well, there is. It's called the invasive species. And here in South Florida, there's a serious problem with invasive uh, animals. Fish, turtles, snakes, birds, they're all here. And they're all invasive from all sorts of different countries. How did they get here? Nobody knows. Thank God we're building a wall to keep them out. Let's take a look. We're here looking for turtles and we have found them. There are at least a dozen right now and there are more coming uh, from all over this little pond. Um, it's fresh water. I'm going to sneak some food to them. Shh. Let's see if we get any fish as well. Oh, here comes some fish too. Tally, you're the fish expert. Do you see what they are? Uh, the what is what a murky, so I don't know what the fish are. I think, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some more interesting fish. The turtles are like very dirty, man, covered in algae. Now, Christina's a native Floridian. What do you think of the invasive turtles? Uh, my thoughts on invasive species are a little lax. I feel like a lot of things can be harmful, but some things aren't harmful. They might be invasive, but they. Um, might not harm a lot of things, so I don't really care about trying to get rid of everything because there's there's so many now. But things like the pythons, definitely, um, some of the invasive plants, definitely, um, but the turtles, not so much. Now, uh, Christine, would you support a specific wall made to keep the invasive turtles out of the country? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think the turtles do a lot of harm. Well, I'm sure the native Floridian turtles would disagree with you. <laughs> I don't see any sing I don't see a single soft shell turtle here in native Florida. All I keep seeing is uh, red ear sliders. We actually brought some cat food. Who knew that turtles like cat food? Uh, strange creatures. Huh? Silly Chilonians. And you know what? I actually have a good business plan. Maybe we can catch all those turtles and try to sell them to people in Ohio or Kentucky. Or we can sell them to Chinese for soup. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> okay, we have a ton of red ear slider turtles here in this pond. There's also a giant Paku. Uh, I don't know how the Paku got here. Uh, I'm guessing it's someone's pad that got dumped. It's absolutely ginormous. Pacus uh, are from South America. So it's, yeah. Pretty invasive, man. Thank God he's here in this pond without access to rivers or canals. Who knows what kind of damage he would do. I mean, it's a giant fish. It's really giant. Dude, it's like so big, I bet you can ride it, probably. <laughs> I saw this fish last year and it was a lot smaller. I think it's gotten bigger this year. Seriously, I saw it last year. I think it's someone's pet. It has to be. That's how a lot of things get brought over here. They come in and in the pet trade and then people release them when they no longer find them fun or they don't know how to properly care for it. I must say, Dale, I'm a little guilty of that as well. I had a girlfriend and I found her like, she got really boring and she actually got fat too, so I ended up releasing her. But it wasn't in Florida, it was in Ohio. So. But I mean, I hope she survives. 
That's so horrible. <laughs> uh, she's going to watch this. Oh, wow. You're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> she's probably out and about reproducing right now. So. <laughs> So I'm not sure that it was any program to eradicate the turtles or not. I have to look it up on the Fish and, Fish and Wildlife uh, website. But I don't know, at this point I don't think it's possible anymore because there's so many of them. I can kind of understand uh, how Australians felt with all those rabbits. You know, you know what, ironically, back in Europe we have a problem with uh, sunfish, American sunfish. Some idiot in the government decided it was a good idea to release them for fishing purposes. Mm -hmm. so. There's Aren't they huge? Sunfish? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I urged all Americans like me to write their congressmen and tell them to deport all this illegal fish back to where they came from. <laughs> yeah, Trump will get right on that. Well, you know, Trump's doing... He's only one man. He's doing the best he can. <laughs> 